Coach, week four here at Lucas Oil Stadium and three of your first four games of the season have been within the AFC South. This, however, the first divisional home game. How amplified is this opportunity to improve your standings within the division? Yeah, it's a big moment and our guys know that. I mean, it's it's one game, but their division, division games count twice and you got you definitely got to make them count at home. Shaquille Leonard coming in questionable this afternoon. What is the outlook for your all pro linebacker to possibly make his season debut? Yeah, it looks good. Uh, you know, Shaq will, Shaq will start. Um, we'll probably be on a pitch count, you know, be some rotation, but excited to see him back out there. Absolutely excited to see him back out there with the potential for a pitch count. How much will that be maybe an ongoing conversation and seeing just how he's feeling after getting back out there? Yeah, we have a gen exactly right. We have a general plan, but, you know, between Gus and Richard Smith as position coach and Shaq, um, you know, we have a plan going in and we'll work that plan out and adapt as needed in the game. You know you'll be without Julian Blackman. However, Rodney Thomas II already had an opportunity last week against Kansas City. How much how much confidence do you have in him having a game and then also having the entire week to prepare to go up against Tennessee? Yeah, that was that was a big deal for, you know, Rodney get his feet wet there. So, you know, coming into a big game like this, he comes in already. He's already a pretty confident kid, but that just breeds more confidence. It, and it breeds the, the rest of the guys having confidence in him as well. So he's ready to go. Sticking with the defense for one more question. Last week against Kansas City, your defense was able to pressure Patrick Mahomes on 38% of his dropbacks. How much will you need a similar level of production against Ryan Tannehill in addition to that task of trying to stop the run in Derrick Henry? Yeah, that's the challenge of stopping this, this offense. It, it's been a challenge over the years. That's why they've been such a good team. You know, they got the run game with Derrick Henry, but Tannehill is especially good off of play action so um, we know our, we know our formula it is we have to affect the passer you want to get sacks but as you said Larry last week we got a lot of pressure on the quarterback so we got to find a way to do that this week and I believe the guys will be up for the task another thing that you said last Sunday after the victory here at Lucas Oil Stadium it was that that win really showed this team what the type of team that you want to be but we still have to continue to get better what are those areas of emphasis in improving this week to get the same result well, you know, it's a physical game, right? I mean, th this especially is a physical game. It's about s run and stop the run. You know, we need to get our run game going, uh, you know, with our, with our, with JT as opposed to Derrick Henry. And uh, if you're going to be physical, it's all got to start up front. So that's a big emphasis. The red zone's a big emphasis. They've been really good in the red zone on both offense and defense. So we got to win that battle. And then as always, we got to win the turnover battle. Coach, always appreciate the time. Good luck this afternoon. Thanks, Laura.